bluegrass billbug. It's an insect that can have rather devastating effects on home lawns and other turf areas. In this illustration we see all the life stages of the billbug all at one time. But let's go through the year and explain what stages are active and when. The billbug actually goes through four stages. Uh, the egg, the larval stage, Typically here in Pennsylvania we see three instars of the larval stage. Some parts of the country will actually see up to five instars. From the larval stage they'll go to the pupa stage and interesting enough you can see the legs outside of the pupa case and uh, those will eventually grow into the adult that we see here. Now the adult does have a rather long snout. It's a distinguishing feature of the billbug family and here we see an actual photograph of a bill bug and again you can see the long snout. So let's start uh, at the beginning of the year January and go through the year and what happens with the bill bug in its life cycle. We're going to start in the fall because it's here that the bill bugs will start looking for overwintering sites. The bluegrass bill bug does overwinter as a adult so it will find leaf matter uh, other material, even holes in the ground that maybe worms or other critters have created uh, to find an escape from the cold weather. As the weather warms in the spring, they become active again as adults. Uh, they especially, uh, you can see them in the spring on driveways and sidewalks walking as the weather gets warm. We get into uh, April, May time frame, they start laying their eggs. And of course, these will hatch into larvae. It's interesting because the first two instars of the larvae are typically inside the grass blade. The third one will drop down into the crown area, the root area, and start feeding on the crown and roots of the, of the plant. Uh, but that this is the damaging stage, uh, that larval stage in that June-July time frame. We move on, that larvae will pupate, and then we're back to the beginning where the pupa emerges as an adult. So some key points on the adults. It is the overwintering stage. Uh, they do have long snouts that makes it relatively easy to uh, figure out what it is. Uh, the adults rarely fly and the good news for us there's only one generation per year of the bluegrass billbug here in Pennsylvania. Here's the larval stage. It is legless. Uh, you can have as many as five instars of larvae. Uh, like I said before, typically we only see three instars here in Pennsylvania. The tail end is larger than the head, and the head capsule is typically orange to brown. But most importantly, this is the damaging stage of the, the bill bug. Uh, whether it's inside the grass plant or down in the crown and root area, uh, it's feeding and causing damage. So if we want to try to get the best chemical control using an insecticide, we try to target those adults when they come out from the overwintering sites. They are in search of sites for laying eggs. This would be late April to mid-May depending on the year. Uh, so we try to target that stage and reduce the adult population prior to egg lay. If we can do that, we can drastically reduce the population and not see the damage photo credits. Uh, a special thanks to everyone that provided photos and graphics. Uh, hopefully that helps you understand the bill bug better. If you have any questions, please contact us at the Pesticide Education Program, Penn State University. Thank you.